one john right and and a sink right and that's it and no ventilation fan whatsoever so you know what it's used for it's used for uh, taking what they call a leak. A quick leak. Wash your hands and you run back in the studio to do your show. And you're out. Somebody uh, used it for the other purpose. I opened up the door to uh, relieve myself and nearly fell down. Yeah. Fainted. Yeah. Unbelievable. We want to know who crunched in the bathroom. Because then it, you open up the door and it's like Pandora's box. Because <laughs> so, then it, it goes into the lobby yeah. area, actually into the um, into the imaginary ballroom. <laughs> yes. Yeah, That's, Willie Nelson's not going to be happy with us. He's going to have to smell this waff. It's like the imaginary bathroom now. Yes. Because it stinks in there. And then when you come into the on-air studio mm -hmm. and it, it, the wind follows you and now... It smells in I'm here, I'm smelling right? it. Yes. Who did that? I know it has to be an outsider because everyone that works at NEW, we all know if we got a crunch, we go up to the 10th floor to the, the winds bathrooms. Right. You go up there. It's got to be someone setting up for Willie Nelson. I, I would bet money on this. Are you brave enough to come in here, whoever that is? Huh? Huh? We'll see if they're brave enough. Come on I in. I want an on-air confession from whoever let loose. And, that toxin. And go outside and grab them. I'm serious. If you're that pissed off, go get them. Oh. By the way, we are going to have Willie Nelson in the imaginary ballroom. And uh, we're willing to ask him anything, and we need you guys to help us out today. If you got a question you want us to ask Willie Nelson for you, uh, send those in immediately through the fax oh, line, 212-957-WNEW. What are you finding out out there? The guilty party is sitting out there. One of the roadies that is setting up for Willie Nelson, yeah. right? Yeah, he's all laughing and smiling and everything, but, but he's not coming in to fess up. <sighs> sure. Great. Oh, why, you shy? You sure weren't uh, in the bathroom. <laughs> Ooh, wow. By the smell of it, it looks like you're one of those moaners. Millie's gonna... I, I was sitting next to a moaner today in the bathroom. Oh, you don't want that. What is up with moaning when you're when you're crunching? I don't get that. In a public bathroom. There's nothing pleasurable about it. Why are you... <sighs> oh, stop. <laughs> It was this. I'm like, what oh, the hell's oh, going please. on? Please. This wasn't like a subway bathroom where you don't know what the heck's going on next to you. This that is... combined with the the, the smell, I, I can't take this. All right. Well, oh, that, my the roadie ain't coming in to confess for his crunch. No. Uh, all right. Well, when we go to the imaginary ballroom, we'll we'll uh, you know confront him. All right. All right. But the important thing is, get your Willie Nelson questions in. We'll ask him anything for you guys. Mm -hmm. You can use the instant feedback to get your Willie Nelson questions across as well, okay? Yeah, okay. <laughs> is it that bad? I got to cover up. Ugh. It's in here now. It's permeated the studio. Great. We got some Pink Floyd on the way. And the latest from that band, Eve Six. Stay there. Flax, what are you smiling about? I'm not smiling about anything. It stinks in here. Ben, ben, do you smell it out there? Yes. It smells awful. It does, right? Yes. Horrible. What's the deal with that bathroom? Explain it to the listeners. Deal, it's the jock bathroom. Right, but no jock takes a crunch there. No. We go I, there I've for never the. Even used it. We I go for the quick leak. It. We wash our hands and we run back on the air. But someone crunched, and we know it's the roadie that's setting up for <laughs> Willie Nelson, and he won't come in here and uh, confess that he has smelled up this whole damn place. <laughs> now you just came in, uh, and I'm smelling it again. That door has to stay shut. We need an airlock, like uh, on a submarine or something. And Willie's going to come here in a few minutes, and he's going to think it's stinkweed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where can I get he's some He's going to go, God damn, where's that coming from? <laughs> no, Willie, you don't want to go in there, unfortunately. <laughs> Why won't the guy come in here and confess? Uh, I don't know. It, it gets worse as you come up the ramp. <sighs> it's horrible. Uh, you smell it out in the outside. Eddie! I'll be in here. Are you smelling the crunch out there, too, Eddie? I, uh... I just hit the bathroom upstairs. That's where I do my crunching. Of course. You have to. Nobody that's, that works here like, crunches in that bathroom. That's like a tour bus bathroom, you know? <laughs> yeah, you have there. some courtesy. Exactly. That's leaks only, a little hand washing. Yeah. Bring a piece of fruit, you wash the apple in there, that's it. There you go. Of all the crap I've smelt before. <laughs> There's a lot of people walking up and down the hall in here, so it could be any of a number of No, we know we exactly know it is. who it oh, is. Yeah, it's the guy sitting right out there setting up for Willie Nelson, the damn roadie, with the the, the S uh, <laughs> eating grin on his face. Hey, after Willie comes in here, the place might be sinking of something else, if you know uh -huh. what I mean. I there hope so, just to clear the air a little bit. Exactly. 
By the way, you look great on MTV, Eddie. Oh, thank you. They finally let you talk at the end of the hour, huh? I like my big fat head on there. <laughs> that was good. Boy, boy, Jesse, what a talent he is. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's the best. I, they must be paying him top dollar. I got a face for radio, don't I? That's all I know. He plays a perfect moron. He really gets into his role. <laughs> Whatever. I don't get it. The Rock of New York, 1027 WNEW. Willie Nelson in the imaginary ballroom. On the way. Stay there. 1027 WNEW, The Rock of New York. That's the band Eve Six and Inside Out. It's Sophie and Anthony. The questions are coming in for Willie Nelson, and you guys are doing very, very well with this little homework assignment we just gave you. Good questions. Yeah, Heather wants us to ask Willie, uh, what's the deal with smoking weed at the White House? I heard about that. Yes. Maybe he'll elaborate. Of course he will. Uh, please ask Willie Nelson, did he sleep with Diane Cannon or Amy Irving while filming Honeysuckle Rose? Diane Cannon was a, a piece of ass back uh, then. She still is a piece of ass. Uh, she is, right? Yeah. All right. Well, if you're into older women. I'd throw her one. I, I tell you. <laughs> Remind me, though, to talk about um, older women. All right. Saw so something today on TV. We can do that. Uh, you want to talk about it now, Anthony? No, that's okay. You sure? Yeah. Okay, another question for Willie. What's the best pot uh, he ever smoked? <laughs> I think there's going to be a pot theme <laughs> to all the questions. <laughs> yeah, what, what is that? <laughs> that's okay, though. The fax line is 212-957-WNEW if you want to get your questions for Willie Nelson in to us, and we'll ask him for you. Well, Ron in Queens brought up a, a very memorable day, a day we should remember. Uh, today is Linda Lavin's birthday. Oh, no. <laughs> Please recognize this occasion by playing the theme from Alice. I realized after the last time you played it that it transcends categorization of good-bad and is so over the top it must be considered art. <laughs> uh, kind of like a John Waters film. Very nice. Maybe more true art on your station will increase the ratings. Well, yeah, Linda Lavin, 61. 61? Might remember her. That from show me. seemed like it was on like yesterday. Seventies series, Alice. Right. Kiss my grits. Yes. And uh, Mel, you know. And, and well, you liked the show. Oh no, no, Opie, Did... Opie. What? I hated the oh, show. Oh, you hated the show. Hated the show. Never liked the show. Yeah. It was a stupid show. Okay. It was a catchphrase show where, uh, you know, you say "kiss my grits" and everybody in the audience. <laughs> 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 Uh, and she used to say something else. Uh, yeah, kiss my grits, male. Male. <laughs> right, right. But Alice, uh, Linda Lavin, <laughs> sang the theme song. And you didn't like the theme song to Alice, well, Anthony? She, she is one of these schlock hack lounge singers. Okay. And uh, she's since Alice gone to Vegas and she tries to get this singing career thing going. And she's awful. She's, uh, all, you ever hear the theme song? Well, I, I, I think we're all waiting for an example, Anthony. She, there's that new girl in town, and she's looking good. There's a fresh new face in the neighborhood. There's that new girl in town, and she's looking good. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Looking good. It's like? horrible. Why would you? You're in the series. You don't have to sing the theme song, especially if you can't sing. Would you like to sing along to the actual song, Anthony? Would that make you feel good on Linda Lavin's uh, 61st birthday today? We could honor her. Early to rise. Rise. Yeah. Early to bed. bed. Ah. And in between, I cooked and cleaned the head of my head. Playing my pants blue. There's a new girl in town. Here she goes. Bring it down, Linda. Bring it down. There's a new girl in town looking good. Is that the worst 
uh, TV theme song you've ever heard? I have a feeling this keeps you up at night, Anthony. I hate it. <laughs> and so, when I think Nickelodeon was playing it a while back, yeah. and it was on like really late at night, and I usually fall asleep with Nickelodeon on, damn, three in the morning, I'm awake. It's like it, the alarm went off. Yeah. Early to bed. Early to back. Last I knew, girl, and twiled, and she's looking black. Just like over dramatizing. Oh. <laughs> Happy birthday, Linda Lavin, 61. <laughs> wow. You're pretty obsessed with I, this. I hate it. <laughs> All right. Very Sorry. good. Sorry. Thank you, Anthony. Yes. Happy birthday, Linda. <laughs> Okay. Uh, on the way, we got the ladies from the Goo Goo Dolls, and we got some Bruce Springsteen by request. We could do that because this is the rock of New York. That's what we do here. That new guy He's still at it. And, and, and shut up. We got to get back into music. And, and, and we're back on the radio. Oh. Shut up. Looking Ah, uh, what I got to deal with here. <laughs> the Rock of New York, 1027 WNEW. 1027 WNEW. The latest from the Goo Goo Dolls. That slide off Dizzy Up the Girl. It's Opie and Anthony. Hey. And the questions for Willie Nelson continue to pour into the Opie and Anthony show. He should be here uh, momentarily. He's going to play in the Imaginary Ballroom. It's going to be very, very cool. We're very excited. Yeah. He's 40 years older than us. What are we going to talk to him about? That's why 40 years older? Pretty much. He's, he's young at heart, though. He is young at heart. I know, but I'm just saying. There's a couple generations between us and him, I think. You talk to your grandpa? Um, no, he's dead. I guess you don't, then. Thanks for bringing that up. Never got to know him. Thank you, Anthony. Then you weren't even close to him. Lighten up. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Jeez. At least you didn't have to see your grandma go senile. You did? Oh, my God. My, oh, my father's mother. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Jimmy. No. Na Nana, it's Anthony. Hey, Billy. Where's, where's my car? Oh. 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 Right. You mean the you know, 57 Chevy that was brand new? <laughs> I don't think it's oh. a... <laughs> So I guess she never made it to Willard Scott's uh, birth announcement, huh? No, but she looked just like everybody else that's on Willard Scott's birth announcement. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> really? Yeah, on the jelly jar. Hey, it's the Smuckers' 100-year birthday. <laughs> yeah. Let's look at, you know, Victoria Johnson, who's 101 years young. You know, like, I was watching that uh, this morning. Yeah. It's really pathetic. Isn't it? It's like she's 100 years young, and she, she still keeps a, a good house. <laughs> if that's what I'm known for at 100, just just take the <laughs> shotgun of my brain stab. She enjoys watching the Lawrence Welk show. <laughs> right. Oh, of course they do. That's like quaaludes for old people. Yeah. She she, she still goes out to her garden every morning. Wow. wow. That's great. That's, Woo! I can't wait to live to 100. <laughs> Who are you kidding? She's a great Italian cook. Well, you know, I wanted to talk about it. We're talking about older women now. See how we got on this track? Yeah. Uh, Regis and Kathy Lee. I'm watching, and um, Tony Pig, of course, here at NEW, does the announcing. Yeah. And I'm hearing him going, hey, today on Regis and Kathy Lee, still a perfect 10, Bo Derek. And she's in a new movie or something? Or a TV? Uh, new TV series. TV that's, series? That's going to last about a month. And uh, they show her on a horse, yeah. like riding through the water. Isn't what? That's what she did in 10. Yeah. Where her but, nice boobs were like in ten, they were like perfect. Oh right, no, just bouncing nicely. I thought she was riding western and had the saddle bags <laughs> on the side of the saddle, but it turned out those are the boobs. Hey, there he is. Hey, Tony. Hey, Tony. Did you get to see Bo Derek this morning? I, I didn't see her in person, but didn't she look great? Um, I don't know. I thought she kind of. I don't know. No, I, I think mean, she still I looks good. Have but you, have you had your glasses checked lately? <laughs> <laughs> I don't make that those things up. You know, I have to read what they. Talk. Right. Okay. Still a perfect tip, but she looked fabulous, man. Did she? She really in really, person? Yeah. No, I didn't see her in person. Oh, oh, oh. sort of like you saw. I thought she looked great. Yeah, but I think they were using the the heart lenses uh, this morning. Oh, the, the lens they use for the heart videos? Yeah, I yeah, think they were kind of out. Out. smoothing smear everything out. Right, on. right exactly. <laughs> you know. I, I understand she still looks good, but they're trying to present her like she's, you know, still the perfect 10. Yeah. Like back in that day. Yeah. And, you know, she should, I don't know, if she should be almost naked on a horse at this age. Wow. So what they, is she now? How old is she? She's got to be. She was married to uh, John Derrick, who's 30 years older than she, and, and he's dead now. He's yeah, dead, so. Yeah. She's oh. in circulation again. 
Love hearing you on that uh, Reefs and Kathy Lee thing. I love having you guys mention me, too. Cool. Hey, what, what, should we, Tony. what should we ask uh, Willie Nelson, Tony? Um... <laughs> Turn the mic off, I'll tell you. <laughs> yeah, he's supposed to be, like, pretty uh, sexually active. Did you? I heard once that he was having sex with a girl. And just chop it off. You weren't supposed to tell anyone we had that bet going on. And run. But, yeah. Actually, I have to give you the $10 back, though, because I didn't smash his guitar. So. That 35-year-old guitar? No. Yeah, that would have been. And explain, explain how clumsy I am. And how <laughs> Willie, yeah. Willie hands me his... <laughs> Well, he has me his guitar that should be in a museum. It should be. It should be in a museum. It's it's 35 years old. Yep. He's had it for that long. Yep. It's got people's signatures in it. Johnny Cash, I saw. Oh, Roger uh, Miller. All these, I mean, old-time uh, uh, legends. Yes. It's a museum on a guitar. He's played it so much, there's a huge hole in it where the pick goes. And Ope goes, oh, that's the guitar. And Willie's like, yeah, here, take a look. And as soon as he handed it to me, the whole room went... <gasps> This is, he's handing it to Opie, the guy that breaks everything. <laughs> he had to stay at my mother-in-law's house for like, oh, it was going to be, what, two, three weeks until you found a place? Yeah. Eight months. Eight months later. He I, stayed I, there. I moved out. She finally threw him out because he was breaking like <laughs> priceless heirlooms. He's turning the phone rings. Bring, I'll get it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, that's okay. It's just a Ming vase. Those are easily replaceable. And, you know, 10, 13,000 years, no one's even going to know it's gone. <laughs> and Willie's just handing over this this guitar to Opie. Priceless guitar. But there yeah. you go. Thank you, Willie. There you go. I just hope you enjoyed Willie Nelson because I, I thought it was very cool. Now, a little sniff? Yeah. Smell like oh, Willie. Really? Man. I got to go to my mom's house tonight because I got to tell her she could smell Willie. <laughs> what? I thought we were all just having fun here. What? What's the problem? Hey, go down on the street. You want to smell Willie? <laughs> hey, lady. You come here. You smell Willie, lady. <laughs> let's go. Let's go down the street. We'll charge people a dollar to smell Willie. Cause smell Willie. Because there are. He's, he's on our hands. <laughs> Smell Willie. <laughs> All right. Well, we've we've worked that joke enough. All right. We'll move on. Okay. Great. Uh, we got the Talking Heads on the way and some Soundgarden by request. We'll take care of that next. One zero two seven WNEW, the Rock of New York, with Green Day. It's Opie and Anthony. Oh, what? What's wrong? I'm in a good mood today. What? Well, I try to write back to people sometimes that instantly email us. Yes. And I tried writing back to Stacy. Uh huh. Uh, because she doesn't like us very much, Opie. Well, uh, the ratings came out yesterday, and it looks like a lot of people mm -hmm. don't like us. Hello. She goes, I decided to give these idiots another chance this afternoon, and it was a huge mistake, which leads me to believe she has listened once before. Yes, she has. And turned away never to, again to return. Well, what ticked her off today? We really know, haven't says, got into anything uh, deep yet. It says almost as big as the decision to hire them in the first place. I guess the mistake. Uh -huh. They are a huge insult to your intelligent audience. They are seriously two of the biggest losers I've ever listened to. And I don't mean losers in the high school sense of the word. I mean it in the sense that their ideas of humor are pathetic. Their thoughts are moronic. I know all of my friends feel the same way. Those of us who have been NEW fans for years and years, oh, that's it. Say hi to Rosie for us. Immediately switch. Uh, Say hi imbeciles. to Rosie for us. If you have any respect for your station or listeners, please return the programming. That is appreciated. What? Blah, blah, blah. Should you decide to mock this, it will only confirm that their routine is a defenseless mechanism against how creatively inept they must be to resort to sophomoric mockery as their source of humor. <laughs> Pulled out the old thesaurus today, didn't you, Stacy? <laughs> Stacy, let me let me let me just say something to Stacy. Go ahead, Anthony. Uh, Stacy seems to have forgotten a bygone era, a time when she might have had a little fun in life. You know, it seems to me that here she works at Time Incorporated. I guess. Okay. That's her email address. It doesn't work. I wasn't even going to say this on the air. I tried to write her back, but she's too stupid to give me her right uh, email address. Uh, remember the old days, Stacy. Maybe you went out with your friends a little bit. And you had fun. Maybe you laughed at some stupid stuff. You know? Got a little silly. Got a little silly. Hung out. Yeah. I get, and then maybe responsibility came in the door. Yeah. Maybe you had a bad relationship. I don't know. This might not even be true. Maybe you had a bad job. Maybe you're not happy in life. 
and all of a sudden you become bitter. Yeah. And people that are having maybe some mindless fun, like we do on this show, this show's not in particularly, uh, it, it's not a, an important show for the world. It's not a serious show. It's not serious. We're not telling you the news so you can, you know, make life decisions. Yeah, we have one goal on the show before we move on. And that is to try to make people laugh and uh, forget about the day they just had. That's it. You're some of these people traffic. listening to us right now, they're stuck in traffic for the next two and a half hours. And you know some We might make them forget about uh, the traffic. Right. That's all we're going for here. That's it. And sometimes, you know what? Sometimes a good fart joke or something really silly and stupid is what is going right. to make the people forget about the traffic, forget about the fact that the boss didn't give them their, their raise this year. Uh-huh. Forget about uh, the problems waiting for them at home. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. That's it. You know, we have no agenda here. This I've been on I've been on jobs in my time where you know I've seen doctors and architects and whatever laborers all laughing at the same stupid thing. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter. Just because you get a little older, Stacy, doesn't mean you have to abandon uh, fun and silliness and silliness every so often. Sure. This show isn't on 24 hours a day, so you don't have to be a moron 24 hours a day. There you go. But for Four short hours, it's kind of fun to just, you know, laugh at things. Yes. Have a goof. Laugh at us. We don't care. But Stacy, I think, forgot about that. Mm -hmm. As time went on, she got older and a little more bitter. Well, it was drained into her head, probably, that you, you reach a certain age and you can't be silly anymore. Right. You, you can't have fun. You can't laugh. Yeah. The world is too serious when you finally hit that certain age, whatever that age is. So she could go home and watch 60 Minutes or whatever and go... At the poor story or something, and just to, to be serious all the time. Yeah. I hate to see what makes her laugh. Rosie O'Donnell. Yeah, probably Rosie. <laughs> yeah. We're not going to win over the Rosie O'Donnell crowd. No, me. I don't care. Because at the end of the letter, I actually wrote her, but it sent this, it back because I can't get to it. I said, please, then don't listen to us. If you don't like us right. because of this, and from your letter, I see that you will never like us. Yeah. So move on. That's right. If, if you don't like a TV show, do you keep going back to it? Yeah. No, forget it. There you go. Bye, Stacy. We know there's enough people out there that actually like us. I mean, the ratings aren't saying that yet, but we know <laughs> you're out there. Right? Exactly. You know, I, I got to change the subject real fast here because we got like a moron on the on the phone line. Oh, something Stacy might like? Uh, well, he's going to hang up if we don't go to him now. Okay. There's a guy, uh, he's applying for a job that he saw in a paper. And why did he call here? I, I, I obviously got the wrong number. He's applying for a job as a landscaper, <clears throat> and he got us instead. All right, put him through. Hello. Hello. How you doing? Okay. You're calling about the job. Right. Uh, what's uh, What's your experience in this field? I worked for a landscaper for like three years. And yeah. before that, you know, I mowed the lawn at my house and stuff. Yeah. I did the, uh, you know, the edging. The last, uh, the last job I was on, I did the edger, and uh, I did the bushes with the uh, the clippers. You uh, you know how to work that big uh, blower thing? To blow? uh, I never I never got to use that thing, the blower. No. But, but you know how to trim bush. I know how to trim the bushes, and I know how to work the uh, the edge of thing. What's the biggest bush you've ever trimmed? Uh, pretty big. Was it like a '70s Earth Mama moth or? Like a what? '70s Earth Mama moth. That's a little lingo in the business. I'm like sorry. a hedge. Like nah, a, like I don't know hedge. the uh, I don't know what they were called. Was it like a bush that was shaped in like um? The, like shape, a, the shape of like a Hitler mustache? Like a Hitler mustache? No. Yeah, like a hedge, you know. No, like big though, like uh, like round. It was like a nice landing strip. Like whenever anything custom had to do, my boss uh, did it, Manny. Can you handle the big cans? So what, we, carrying stuff? Yeah, we fill them up and put them in the truck, you know what I mean? Like handling the, the big cans. Yeah, I can carry that stuff. I can carry anything. So you're good, the with, only, the only thing you're that, good with cans. Yeah. And you're good at blowing. Well, I told you, I never did the blowing machine. But you're willing to learn how to blow? Yeah. Oh, that's very nice. All right, good. Yeah, I'll blow. probably use that. Where do I go down? Like, uh, do I have to uh, fill out an application or anything? Or mail something in? It says something here about uh, an address. Yeah, you got the address there? Yeah. Okay, good, good. And what's your name? Can I get your name? Yeah, yeah. John Huber. All right, John. Yeah, my name's John, too. Um, yeah, if you could possibly maybe, um, I don't know, Put some of the bush clippings in an envelope and send it in. That would help us out to see what type of bush you've been trimming. In an envelope? Should I bring it down there or, or well, just, just put it in an envelope? Yeah, just mail it to the address, actually, with some of your, um, you know. Or diff what, different ones or just one type? It's your qualifications. Actually, what I would do is uh, make a, like a collage, you know, with all the bush you've trimmed over the years. 
if you still had that laying around. Right. And, um... Well, I don't have it laying around. I don't, I don't take the crap home. Well... Well, you know, we, we have higher-ups, too, and they just want to see some kind of, uh, you know, foliage. So if I get cardboard... Yeah, get some yeah. cardboard. And glue, like, the different things on it and just put it in one of them big envelopes so I can mail it in and you can check it out? Yeah, and just, like, label, you know, which All is which. All the different bushes that I've uh, done? Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. All right, mail it in there. Should I put my name and any other? Yeah, like uh, yeah, put your name and and a phone number. We can reach you. So we'll we'll take a look at your work and then we'll call you yeah. back. It's All gonna right. be a pretty big piece of cardboard though. We're looking at uh, you know, three feet by about three feet. All right. I don't know what that's gonna run to mail, but. All right, John. Three foot. Yeah, three yeah. foot by three foot. Like a big, like one of the things from school, like construction paper, like the yeah. old pegs. Yeah. yeah. Can I fold it? Ooh, um, no, ooh. that affects the. Uh, the foliage, All right. actually. Yeah. Just find a big envelope. All right. If you want, you can bring it down personally. Just uh, go to the address on the uh, ad there. Okay. All right? All right. Your name's John? Yeah, just look for me. All right, John. All right, man. All right, thanks a lot. All right. All right. Bye. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I couldn't hold it in. Come on. <laughs> that can't be real. No way. There's no way that could be real. That was a put on. No one could be that stupid. <laughs> if, if it if that was real, we just talked to the stupidest man alive. Come on. <laughs> Come on. 1027 WNEW, The Rock of New York. We got guys yelling in the background here. Hold on the phone, dude. We'll talk to you some more in just a second here. Oh, all right. All right. There he is. <laughs> Uh, it's Opie and Anthony, and we still uh, can smell Willie Nelson. <laughs> Willie, Willie on your hand. Yes. Yeah, Willie uh, is the man. <laughs> you got Willie on uh, your hand? Oh, uh, screw. We'll put him on the air. Yo, dude. Yo. All right, we got you on the air. Don't curse. So, uh, all right. Did you like the Willie Nelson interview? I loved it. You were, loved you, it. You were telling us off mic that you were blowing a, a, a bone with uh, Willie? Yeah. Yeah, back at the, uh, at the Blue Note in the back of his tour bus. Right on. Wow, that's an, a cool memory yeah, to have. Willie, Willie is the man. Did he True. have... Go ahead. True American, boy. I'll tell you, he stands for what we all should uh, be voting for. All right, man. Weed. Next time you yeah, get exactly. Next time you get on the air with us, you got to turn down your radio because we're in like an eight-second delay. Okay. All right, man. You got it. Thanks for you guys listening. Are great, man. WNEW Rock. Right on. Here's right. Cheap Trick. Thanks. One zero two seven WNEW, The Rock of New York, with Devo, Bare Naked Ladies. Before that, and one week off their stunt CD. It's Opie and Anthony. Hello. Having lots and lots of fun here today. Hey. Uh, this is pretty cool facts. I sent you guys a fax a, a few weeks ago detailing my efforts to convert my girlfriend Amanda into a dedicated listener. I have finally a, achieved success and turned her in, uh, turned her to the dark side, thereby increasing listenership by 50%. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Just kidding. I cannot believe that you guys are in last place. The strategy I used to convert her was twofold. Now listen closely okay. out there, guys, because we need your help. First... Twofold. I continued to sing your songs to her, except for the Lewinsky song, which backfired. <laughs> Second, I set preset one on her radio to WNEW and just asked her to press it on the car ride home. The strategy, coupled with perseverance, worked. One of the songs that helped in the conversion process was the Dada Dave song. Cool. That's a favorite. Uh, keep the pork coming. <laughs> it looks like it's Alan. Yes, it is Alan. Thank you, Alan. This is your radio pork. <laughs> right. I just want to say something about um, Jennifer Love Hewitt. Yeah. My girlfriend. Yes. My future wife. Yes. Sorry, Jen. No, that's no, all right. <laughs> uh, they, they, they're, they're not using her right. What do you mean? She's going to play Audrey Hepburn in a movie. Oh, no. They should have that Allie McBeal chick play uh, Audrey Hepburn. Exactly, because they're going to have to use ace bandages to, to uh, strap her boobs to her body. Oh, so she'll look flat-chested. Oh, the humanity. That is like like cutting off Beethoven's hands. <laughs> <laughs> so he'll fit with the piano better. You're missing the whole point of casting her in anything. So she has a nice set, huh? Oh. Yeah. Jennifer Love Hewitt? Jennifer is in the studio. Uh, again, Ant's wife, because... Because you guys are going to Aerosmith tonight. Yeah. Because a lot of people are convinced that Jen just kind of hangs and watches over you every day because no, she no. gets on the radio a lot Willie with us. Willie Nelson and Aerosmith. There you go. Now, now, does he really lose it, Jen, in front of the TV oh when she's on? Oh, God, yes. Really? She's, I, what do I call her? Love. I just call her love. Love. Well, that's what <laughs> We have a relationship. Love. That's right. See? <laughs> and who do I hate? Um, oh, Carson Daly. Carson Daly. See? She knows all this. Yes. 
because yeah. he's uh, going out with, with my love. You should see if the two of them are on the TV together. Yeah. He'll start screaming. I'm disgusted. Really? I'm utterly oh, disgusted. Oh. <laughs> and if he just sees Carson on, like, MTV, he yells at him. <laughs> it's hysterical. Well, well, and you don't have to worry. Your your career will go further than Carson's eventually. 